What are some tricks in bed that everyone should know? If your sheets keep popping off the corners of your mattress, you need deep or deep pocket sheets. Change your bed sheets. Having a clean bed sheet really changes the ambience and put your thermostat down a few degrees. If you have a fan on low, even if it's not pointed at you, it can create the kind of noise that prevents you from hearing every little house click and thing happening outside. I can't sleep without a fan, it saved me from my neighbor's noises, apartment complex, good advice. When it comes to pillows, quality is more important than quantity. Also, don't sleep in your day wear. Paul Blood, Mall Cop, Edit, What the Hell? That must be awkward at the grocery store. Tuck the most inaccessible corner first when changing the sheets. Absolutely. If you're not one of those fancy people with a bed in the middle of a wall, always do the corner corner first. The corner corner is always the toughest, and no one likes doing that awkward belly flop push, stretch and tuck whale movement after the other three corners are locked and loaded. No one likes doing that awkward belly flop push stretch and tuck whale movement after the other three corners are locked and loaded. I am happy to see that this is a shared human lesson. Be careful if you make the jump to a king size bed. There's no going back. Everything else sucks. Journal, date unknown. I fear I may never see my wife again. It seems like an age ago that I said goodnight as we crawled into our new king size bed. I rolled over to give her a kiss but she was lost to me in a veritable desert of sheet, and so I began my journey across the inner spring wasteland. I find no comfort since my conforter went missing, I have lost sight of my pillow two years hence, and the madness has begun to set in, but this day I find a break in the monotonous journey. I have discovered a lost civilization comprising of the ancestors of our two terriers who have recognized me as some kind of deity, no doubt due to stories passed down through generations. Dear God, how long have I been out here, searching? They tell me of a legend they call the Great Snorer. They say her rumbling breath can be heard all across these lands when the night is still. I feel like I'm going crazy, but I can almost hear it. Could it be her? Could my journey be at an end? Or is it just another siren's song? ready to lead me away from my love and into the cold, and different company of the cat. I'm so tired. My day cannot get any better after reading this. Might as well go to sleep right now. This is the most accurate thing that I wish I could explain without sounding crazy. It really is such a big difference for everything. I hate that I'm back in a queen-sized bed. This does not feel like royalty. Make sure to place torches all around your bed so monsters don't spawn and you can jump into bed right away. I use glowstone for the A-E-S-T-H-E-T-I-C-S. I like the lanterns. LPT, use redstone lanterns tied to a daylight sensor so you get the benefit of the light at night but reduce your electricity bill. Stick one foot outside the duvet. Keeps you remarkably cooler and shows you laugh in the face of monsters. I've only seen this raw power once before. It didn't scare me then, it does now. Is it possible to learn this power? Switching the direction you lay in the bed makes it feel like a new bed. And if you sleep in a big bed alone, switch sides every once in a while, or sleep in the middle. Sometimes your brain is conditioned to think you have less room than you really do. If you sleep in a big bed all alone make sure to spread your arms and legs and take as much space as possible to keep the ghosts from joining you in bed. Buy a comforter one size bigger than your bed. For example, if you have a queen size bed, get a king size comforter. Edit, since a lot of you are asking and the answer got buried, if you have a king, then the next size up is Wyoming King followed by Alaska King. After that, go make your own damn blanket. Also, if you sleep with someone else buy two blankets, it will make an incredible difference in the quality of your sleep. Why? So I can sleep with neither of two options because she somehow managed to cocoon herself in both. Pro tip get three. Then when she's cocooned in two of them, get the third from the top of the dresser. Been there done that. 100% my wife will somehow steal the third in her sleep. 
You tend to sleep better when the room is a bit colder than normal. Put your thermostat down a few degrees, not only will you sleep better, but you'll save on heating bills in the winter time if you live in a colder climate. Yep, when it gets cold for the few days in Florida I just turn the AC completely off throughout the day, and if I need some warmth I just launch a game on my computer and it heats up quick. Since this was tagged NSFW, don't work from your bed if you're working from home. Separating your workspace from relaxation space will help you be more productive when you're working and disengage from work when you're done. Bold of you to assume I value productivity over comfort. Help ET buy a second bed for your home office. And another bed for eating. Another for sex. Unless you want to get hungry and horny before you fall asleep. Never, and I mean never eaten everything bagel in bed. The results are devastating. I still get poppy seeds in my butt crack. I have a joke about poppy seeds. A guy goes into a small grocery store. He sees a pile of potatoes, and asks the storekeeper, what are those? Those are potatoes. Can I have a kilo of potatoes individually wrapped? The storekeeper shakes his head and start wrapping potatoes. What are those? Those are plums. Can I have a kilogram of plums all individually wrapped? The storekeeper cusses under his breath and starts packing plums. Dot. And what are those? Those are poppy seeds and they are not for sale. Weighted blankets are obscenely comfortable. Edit. For everyone who is asking, weighted blankets are super warm. At least mine is. It's like an extra heavy quilt. Edit 2. I bought this one except in a 30 pounds king version that doesn't seem to be available from that supplier right now. I'm pretty happy with it. But it was like $200. Literally every time I had a friend over, I would just find them snuggled instinctively with my weighted blanket once I showed them its magical powers. They wouldn't let it go and instantly fell asleep and took a nap with it. It has significantly improved my sleep. Highly recommend. I do have a smaller frame body and I'm rather lightweight. I have the 12 pounds and it works fine for my weight. Do check the chart for your appropriate weight. Smile have at least three layers over you when it's cold. Just like clothing, layering your bedding makes it easier to get and stay warm. And you can easily remove single layers if you get too warm. When you're camping, especially in the winter, flip this around. Have three layers beneath you for every layer on top. Helps keep you insulated. Oh and don't use a cot when winter camping because the cold air gets underneath you too and negates your layers. The X blanket layer underneath was a life-changing sleeping experience in a tent. Don't eat anything in bed. No matter how neat of an eater you think you are, you will always leave crumbs slash stains slash bits of food, drink in there. Except pussy. Edit, ass is okay too, if that's your thing. No cake, though. If you get rid of the bed frame and set it on the floor, it prevents the monsters from hiding under it for extra bedroom safety. However, this does make it more likely a cockroach will climb on you as you sleep. When I went to Indonesia on business, I took a nap when we got to the hotel. It was dark when my boss knocked on the door to rouse me for dinner. I turned on the light and there were a bunch of cockroaches on the floor. I screamed like a girl and told him I wanted to stay somewhere else. He told me they don't crawl up the feet of the bed. I believed him, the fucking liar. We did end up moving to a cockroach-free place a day later. Edit, Indonesia is an awesome, gorgeous country with fabulous friendly people. Went there for two weeks vacation a couple of years ago. Stayed in a better class of hotel. Food was so delicious and cheap. Laying on your left promotes digestion as gravity moves food through and cuts down on heartburn. I get terrible nightmares when I sleep on my left side. Not sure why. Edit. W O O M G T his Blu up rip my I N B ox. But seriously, Sorry for not replying to everyone. I'll do that now, and thank you for all the suggestions. Probably facing a mirror. Negotiate the level of white noise in your bedroom before committing to sleeping together. I made a bad bargain and 17 years later I'm still paying for this mistake. ETA, we've talked about it, and this is a hill he is willing to die on. 
and I'm not. I love sleeping in the same room more than I hate the fan, even though I do hate the fan. Compromising on the issues that are more important to your partner is what gets you to 17 years I guess. The even more ridiculous part is that the dogs that sleep in our room are now trained to like it. So sometimes when he is gone and I try to sleep in silence, the dogs will lay in front of the fan and growl and bark until I turn it on because they like the noise and the wind in their hair. And I am a pushover and turn it on for them because I love my puppers even more than I love silence.